Hi everybody there in Pilates world. Um, we're doing our part three of our Pilates fully put them together. You'll get the whole um, mat series, including pretty much every exercise from beginner, intermediate to advanced. Okay, so this is part three. We're starting a different stretch today on a roller. Okay, if you don't have a roller, you can just do this laying on the mat. But you're gonna get a bigger, bigger stretch if she brings her arms up the roller, if you have a long roller, which is the best. Right now, we put a yoga block under her head and under her shoulders so that we get the full effect. So she's gonna start with a little cactus stretch. We're gonna bend the elbows wide. She's gonna tap the elbows to the rug or the mat. And I'm gonna try to open up her collarbone, trying to remind her to bring her shoulder blades back as everyone else is doing the same. I'm gonna lightly tap her upper back to make sure she's breathing into the stretch and she feels those stretches. Two more like that. One. Now we're gonna have the palms face each other and she's gonna just go straight up and straight down. We're gonna see if we can get the thumb to tap that mat overhead. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. And stretch. There we go. Now keep reaching the fingertips long as if you're gonna touch the TV back there. Good. Inhale, exhale. So you wanna be thinking about your spine you know, really either sinking into the mat if you're on the floor or the mat. And if you're on the roller, you want to think about that spine elongating into the roller. Two more like that. And one. Now bring the arms back up. And we're going to go a wide capital T now. Really stretch that collarbone wide and bring it in. Make like a little prayer in the center. And then press back out again. And we got two more like that. And one more time. Very good. And make a fist. Now, if you have light weights, you can use them right here. We'll be bending and extending again with the weights. Just really get that good stretch in those shoulders and that collarbone. Two more. And one. Very good. Now, she's going to roll carefully off the roller, okay, onto one side. And I'm going to slide it away, all right? Or she would have done the same. Okay, so now we're going to go into some bridges, okay? We're going to do a nice warm up here. So, as she is measuring about her fingertips touching the heels and rotating the big toes in. We're gonna slowly peel up into that bridge, okay? She's gonna be lifting her hips and getting that nice plumb line stretch where it's a nice angle. You don't wanna pop the ribs though, so we don't wanna go up too high. You're gonna squeeze your knees together and pulse those knees together. A little hugging effect in the inner thighs and then squeeze and hold and very slowly roll down one bone at a time. Take about 10 breaths to go back down to the left. Inhale, lift, maybe take another eight to come up. And then hold for a few seconds. This time she's gonna rise up into the ball of her feet. The heels lift. And she's gonna lower and lift there with the heels in the air. Three more like that. Don't go all the way down. We're gonna go up high and then halfway down. Up high again, halfway down, and one more. I'm gonna hold that lift and pulse the knees together at the top. Three, two, one. Hold the squeeze and very slowly roll down again. Vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone. Keeping the heels up even as you come down. And then the last to come down is the heels. Very good. Now we're gonna peel up into the bridge one more time. This time, we'll keep the feet flat, all right? We're gonna extend the right leg out very slowly. We're gonna point as we kick up high, flex to low. Point to lift, flex to low. We try not to drop the hip, cueing everybody out there in Pilates world <laughs> to keep those hips up, right? Point as you lift, flex as you lower. And last one, point to lift, flex to low. Bend the knee, lift the hips even higher, put the foot down, and then very slowly roll down, one bone at a time. All right, we're gonna get ready for the other side. So we're gonna peel up into the bridge again. Extend the left leg out. Pull for a moment. Point as you kick up high, flex to low. Point to lift, flex to low. Two more. Good, one more time. Now she bends her knee, she puts her foot down right where we found it. Heels are heavy, and then slowly roll down. One bone at a time. Upper back, middle back, waistline, hips, and glutes. All right, hug the knees into the chest. All right, we're gonna do a nice roll up. We'll extend the legs straight out, everybody. Flex the feet, hug the thighs. Lift the head slowly and peel yourself up, really stretching those fingertips to the toes. Flex the feet as you round over. 
and then deepen the scoop and roll back down again. Relax those shoulders, everybody. Widen that collarbone. Keep the gaze at the belly button as you're rolling down, one bone at a time. Give me more C curve. That's it, and curl back, curl back. That's it, nice and slow, very nice. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, curl. Reach for the toes, everybody. Now pulse to the toes, pulse three, two, one. Now lock the thumbs together at the top. Reach up high to the ceiling, those fingertips. And then with a straight back, hinge back, and then round to roll down. Okay, all the way down. For four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna pick up the pace. Inhale, we're up, exhale, over. Dive the nose to the knees. Lift tall to the ceiling. Hinge back, and then round to roll down. Now remember, we wanna keep those heels anchored and glued, so flex the feet if you can. Inhale, lift, exhale, dive. Can everybody roll up without moving those heels at all? Can you try not to travel as you lift? Hinge, round, and roll. Very good. And one more time, inhale up, exhale over, lift, hinge, round, roll. All right, now we're gonna try one. We're gonna try the twist in a sore-like position. So we're gonna lift the spine like we did in spine stretch forward in that part two video. We're gonna twist to the right and pulse for three, two, one. You don't have to dip down, we're just pulsing. So we're gonna lift and we're just twisting. So feel it in the twist, that's it. Just twist, twist, twist. Beautiful, inhale up and exhale, twist deeper. I want you to breathe everybody. Inhale and blow it out. Inhale on one and exhale for three counts. Two, one. Inhale, lift, exhale. Twist, twist, twist. So we try not to move the hips, just the upper body. That's it, try to hit me back here, beautiful. And then good, snap. And the last one, inhale, lift, exhale, twist, twist, twist. Good, everybody reach for their toes. Maybe grab on and just get a nice little stretch there. Everybody remember the butterfly stretch. You can bend your knees in, knees go wide. Heels of the soles of the feet touch, right? We dive forward. All right, now here you can use your elbows and we're gonna push those inner thighs down a little bit and see if we can stretch as if somebody was pushing you on the lower back a little bit. And can you give me a little bit more, my yogi here? Aha, uh -huh. now it's much easier if we do one leg at a time. So on your right leg, stretched out, Jeff. And then reach for those toes and give it a stretch and think about opening this up if you can. Breathe into that stretch. And then rise back up again. And let's try it on the other side. Open up that inner thigh and dive forward and give it a stretch and make sure you're trying to opening up there as well on the opposite side. And come back in, now butterfly it again and maybe get a little bit more out of it, right? Maybe grab, pull those knees in a little, heels a little deeper in towards the inner thighs and then press forward. And then use your elbows and forearms again, everybody, and try to open that up. Maybe gently rock side to side. Can we get one knee touching, then the other? Possibly, right? and then stretch again last time. Excellent, all right, we're gonna sit up tall. All right, so we did our bridges. Um, I don't wanna forget anything today. We're gonna do a tick-tock. So we're gonna lower down onto the mat. C curve, bring the arms up, shoulder height. Beautiful. Now stay there, the hands actually gonna come down and we're gonna bend at the elbow line. Good, and she hasn't practiced this with me, so <laughs> bear with us. All right, we'll be all learning it together. Relax your shoulders, squeeze those elbows in tight. Bend the knees into tabletop and bring the legs straight up to the ceiling. All right, so everybody is going to think about keeping their shoulder blades down heavy in the mat, elbows in tight. The goal is not to move those fingertips. She's gonna look to the right side, which is to the window, and your feet are gonna fall to the left, everybody. Then back to center, slowly, head two. You're gonna look to me now, Jacqueline, and your feet go the opposite way. Good. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Now those elbows still touching the shirts, everybody, and a little tighter. And we should feel those obliques, right? Come up to center, and then you look one way, feet go the other. Good, can you keep hugging your legs together? Perfect, so you can point them if you'd like. Look one way, dip the other. Come back to center, everybody. You look to the left, feet go to the right. Can we relax those shoulders one more time? Inhale, and then exhale to center one more time. Look this way, feet go the other. Beautiful, we call that the tick-tock. Hug the knees in and give it a stretch, rock side to side. 
And we jam. Got it? All right. So let's try one also on our stomach. Um, actually, while you're here, we're going to do the rollover. I'm going to have you slide down just a little bit because your feet are probably going to come very close to this table. So everybody, kind of be aware where you are. Now, if this is going to hurt your back, um, just do a couple more bridges. Uh, or you can use your hands, like we showed in part two, when she tried to do jackknife, you used your hands, okay? All right, so pull the knees into the chest, everybody. Press the hands firmly by into the mat, by your sides. Now kick the legs out, and then come up and over and see if you can touch all the way. Now she's great, she can actually touch the floor. Nobody has to do that, but she's gonna slide her feet as wide as the mat, and then she's gonna press our arms heavy in the mat, C curve, protect your neck, and roll down one bone at a time. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Keep the feet in that V, open, very good. Flex them and roll down, roll down until your glutes and lower back are on the mat. Good, now go to 45 degrees, which is halfway down, point your toes, and then come up and over again with the feet open. This time, now squeeze the legs together, and then zip those thighs, make those hands heavy, and roll down again, vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone. Make sure we're in the shoulders, in the shoulder blades, not in your neck. That's for everybody. Nice and slow. Excellent. Let's do one more. Open into the V. Point the toes. Maybe tap the floor. Squeeze the legs together. Hug the midline. That means we squeeze those legs and keep the legs close to the face if you can. Remember, this is the more advanced one. And roll down one bone at a time. Now, the last one, feet are together. We're going to come up and over. Tap the mat with the feet together. Then slide as wide as the mat is wide. Flex the feet. And again, press those arms heavy in the mat as you're rolling down, vertebra by vertebra, and bone by bone. And then we come and we stop at 45. There we go, now hug the knees into the chest. <laughs> and rock side to side. That feels like a good stretch on the back, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna grab the back of the thighs and we're gonna come on to the stomach. Um, I wanna show uh, one, oh, swimming. Let's do swimming, how about we face the camera this way? Put your head that way and your feet to me. Turn it on your tummy. All right, so we are gonna think about lengthening the arms straight out and lifting your head a little bit off the mat, okay? Now, as you look down at the mat, everybody, we're gonna try to lift the right arm above the shoulder height and the left leg, and then switch, okay? We'll do it nice and slow, one at a time. Now try not to move your shirts too much, right? And try to get the toe and fingertips leveling out. Very good. Now as we go a little faster, we're gonna keep the arms going and the feet going. And no stopping in the middle. We go up and down, up and down. You got it, two more, and one. All right, everybody come up to hands and knees and go for a nice stretch. Have it like a child pose. We open up the knees as wide as your mat. Maybe we'll do a modified one. We're gonna put the hands under the forehead, palm over palm. Rest the neck long, so the chin is up a little bit, yeah. And then the elbows are wide. And we're trying to press down on the lower back using your own body weight to kind of stretch out. You want to see if you can get those heels, right, touching your glutes or the glutes touching your heels, whichever comes first. <laughs> All right, how are we feeling, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's come back up to hands and knees. Let's walk your hands up to the front edge of the mat. Shoulders are right under. Your wrist should be under your shoulder line a little bit more, okay? Now we're gonna extend the right arm out by the ear. Why don't you move back just in case you're not in the video. There you go. All right, so the right arm is by the ear again. The left leg is out. And this time I want you to touch, elbow touching knee underneath. C curve and then extend. So we're doing rounding the spine, so great for the back and the core. So C curve as you're coming in, touch in the center, right? Elbow touches the knee, two more. Trying to stay straight, one more. Breathe in, blow it out. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Stabilize first, left arm out, right leg. All right, so we pull into center and then kick it out. Into center, kick it out. Beautiful, two more. Keep that arm in line with the ear. One more time. And a bonus with a smile, one more. Like those bonuses, right? All right, come back to center. And let's try a nice downward dog again. We're gonna lift right up for a good stretch. And hold those hips up there. And she's gonna pedal it out. Right knee bends, left heel sinks. One in, one out. Good. 
Good. Two more. And one. All right, as we come back down onto the mat, okay, we're going to, um, you're going to come to a seated position. All right, and I think I'm going to have you sit this way and grab onto your ankles. So you see I have um, my knees are one way, my ankles are the other. Okay. So kind of sit that way, facing the window. All right, so everybody is gonna follow Jack. All right, so in a perfect world, it would be harder to do knee over knee. So why don't we try that one? Correct. All right, now as she lifts her spine, okay, we're gonna try to bring this arm out the shoulder height. We're gonna draw the shoulder blade into your back and then bring that arm up. Now find the extension. Everybody keep reaching and reach, reach, reach those fingertips to the ceiling. And then we're gonna slowly tilt that way and really reach to this side of the room, okay? Now I'm not there to hug you, but I want you to press one hip down and stretch over. So the left hip is centered and anchored and it's reaching down and then the right hip is reaching over. Get a little stretch. Now hold the capital T if you can. Ta-da. T, T, T. Here's a T. There you go. And now we're going to come down with the elbow down all the way on the mat. And she's going to give me an opposing stretch like that. It just kind of feels good to stretch that out that way, right? Good. And then come up in that T. Use that core. Ta-da. Grab the ankle again quick. And reach up and over to the other side. And think about that arm really reaching. Come on. Straighten it out and reach. There you go. Feel a little better when I push you, babe. All right. Now we're going to tease her to the other side. What does that mean? Don't you worry. They're all get confused when I do this in the reformer class as well. You're going to put your hands behind you. And you're going to kick your legs out that way. Ta-da. And then bend them this way. Now face me. Look at that. That was very good. You didn't even practice that. Okay. So now we're going to grab the ankles. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So holding your arm. We're gonna reach it up high towards the ear. No, 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 first you're gonna stay here. Glue the arm to the ear, everybody. Keep reaching up, keep reaching up. And then anchoring, we're gonna stretch you this way. And we can see that one side's a little tighter than the other. <laughs> Isn't that with everybody, right? All right, now bring the arms out in a T. Hold that stretch, hold that core with my T. There we go. And now come down on the bent elbow and stretch over that way. Good. Now use your core to come back to center. Ta-da, breathe, very good. And grab that ankle again and give me one more stretch. Glue the arm to the ear. And then glue it to the inner center first. Then take everything with you as you reach. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Beautiful, how'd that feel, okay? All right, now we're gonna do seal. It's a little harder. You're gonna face the, mirror, uh, face the camera again. All right, so this time, when your feet are bent, everybody is going to bring the hands in the center like prayer and then reach for the outer ankles. Then you're going to lift the heels and balance. There we go. Then give me um, three little claps with your heels. One, two, three. Then rock back to the tip of your shoulder blade and come back up. Here we go. And clap again. One, two, three. All right. You're going to stay here and clap. One, two, three. And then come back. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap. And come back. Now I want you to go faster. This is a big ending, it's coming up. Are you ready? Two more like that. One more time. Now I want you to genie your arms. Good, rock back to the tip of the shoulder blade and see if you can come to seated and stand up. And she did it. Ta-da, give her a clap. 